We're going to learn in this lesson a very nice Spanish tune which was written by the composer Isaac Albaneth and it's called Leyenda. But the original was played down here on the neck and is rather difficult. So we're going to do a version transposed into A minor. Transposed simply means in another key. I'll play it for you now. going to show you the first few notes on the left hand and then we're going to take a look at what the right hand is supposed to be doing. We start off with open A on the fifth string with a thumb. Then we follow that by hitting open E on the first string with one of our fingers, either the first or the middle finger. Or like Malaguena, if you want to, you can try alternating each time you hit the open E. Now essentially, the melody of this song takes part on the bass notes that is on the 5th, 4th, and 6th string. And we start off with open A, followed by our E, and then we go E on the 4th string, F on the 4th string, open D, 4th string, back to E on the 4th string, and then a C on the 5th string. So those notes are... Those are the notes, and the open E acts as an accompaniment. That is, it supports that melody on the bass line. So we have... One more time. Lift, middle finger, third finger over like that. Now let's take a look at what the right hand is doing. Now, the right hand playing those notes go like this. The right hand goes thumb first on the fifth string and then here's our accompaniment note on the open E and then we hit the E on the fourth string again with the thumb followed by another E there F on the fourth string open D on the fourth string and then back. Now you could select your first finger to play the open E string, the first string, or you could select your middle finger, and once again you could also alternate. So with our middle finger it would just be like that. With our first finger it would be like this. Really the same thing, not really a lot to show you there. Or you could alternate like that, one after another. You might find that a little bit difficult to do, but I wouldn't worry. As long as you're using one finger and getting the sound okay, that's fine. Um, now, one thing you should try and look out for is when you're playing the first string, whichever finger you're using or both, try not to put your finger by presetting it once again on the string and chopping the notes. So you want to just let that first string ring, bring your finger in front of it, and then draw it back over the string for a nice free stroke. Like that. Not like this. It won't sound really very nice at all if you're playing like that. So try and get that. E string to continuously vibrate and ring and you just set it in motion finger in front, straight back always a problem area if you're not sure of how to do that 
We'll go back now and continue with the notes on the left hand. Once again, we're back at the left hand, and we've just learned this. And really, all you do next is repeat those notes again for a total of three times around. And then on the third one, we change from there. But I'm going to go from the beginning just to refresh your memory of how it goes. So from the very beginning, we start off once, twice, three times to that point. Now we'll continue on. Then it goes open fourth string. Now I'm not going to keep mentioning the fact that with every thumb note you have to hit the open E string. Just assume that to be a given. So I can go on without having to explain that. So we hit the open fourth string with a thumb. These are all the thumb notes. And then we go B on the fifth string, C on the fifth string, and you do that twice. D, B, C. So from there, we go back to a repeat of the beginning. But before we do that, I'm going to play you the whole thing up to that point. Third time, and then it simply repeats. We're going on now. Once, twice, third time, and now it changes slightly. We go D, B, C, just like we did before. Now we go open A, G on the sixth string, third fret. F, and then open E, and that is the beginning of the next section. Now I'm going to play to you the tune so far. I will say this too, when you're practicing, I would play this tune really slowly. You may have to play it slowly if you don't have the capability of playing it any quicker, but if you can play it quite fast, I would just slow it down and have a sense of uh, nice steady speed and smoothness. And that's where we left off. 